All right, guys, welcome back to another Portal 2 community map. Again, sticking with Asias 16. Today we are playing Funnel Vision. It seems like there's a bit of a trend here with Asias who is remaking maps. We have a version 2 once again today. So it's a remake of Funnel Vision, a map published nearly two years ago this time. The remake mostly improves the aesthetics and removes several unintended solutions that were present in the original. Uh, the puzzle remains mostly the same with a few minor changes and the music is one of Mike Stroh's uh, tracks. So uh, if you haven't already, please go and check out Mike Stroh. He's an awesome guy, awesome puzzle maker, and he has his own game, Soccer Band the RPG on Steam. All right. So this one is saying it's an easy map. So we will see. And we've done that. I do really like the Soccer Band. Um, RPG soundtrack. Lots of sort of this style of music. Very talented composer is Mike. Okay, so we are over to here. Oh, I think I remember this one actually. I think I do remember this one. This this definitely 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 it's familiar. Okay, so we're going to go over to here, I believe. And we should have enough time to get through to there. If I remember, yeah, we should have enough time to get through into there to stand on the button before the cube comes along. Excellent. And now we can use the funnel to pull ourselves across to here. Like so. Now this is a yeah, this is the sort of bit that I remember, so we can reverse the polarity here. So I think in order for that to work effectively and efficiently, we're gonna to want to bring the cube over first. So we'll do that first. So let's head on through here. If I can find if I if I have it and I can find it, I'll definitely try to link the original playthrough in the description down below or in the cards or something. It's at this point here where I need to start... Okay, I can reverse the, I can reverse it here, that's fine. Yep. Let's say I need to think about how I'm going to reverse the funnel, but of course we just do it like this, this is fine. Have a reversed funnel available for us now. However, I do believe we want to be in the funnel itself. So how would we go about doing that is the question. Actually, it doesn't matter because once we're over here, we can do that. Yeah, that's okay. It's not really not a big issue. Okay. Pull ourselves. Oh, actually, it is a big issue. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think I need to actually time this. Okay, I'm going to take a step backwards for a moment. I can pull myself across there. That's fine. See those surfaces there. So we can't jump into the funnel from there because it's uh, too far away from this platform. That's out of the question. So let's go back and do 
we just did a moment ago. Okay, so what we could do, actually, thinking about this... that available to us like that. Now, I was thinking, can we send it back? But unfortunately, we can't. But again, I might just be overcomplicating this in that if we stand here and go through... So it's two blocks away, so if I stand here and then literally as we go through we can fire back down to there we should then come out of that and push ourselves across all right let, let's play around with this a minute okay so one okay so it does indeed push us across however in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't help as much. So ideally we'd need to shoot onto that portal there. Okay, so is that an option? Is that an option? If that's an option, then we could be just about done. If we can shoot out and come over on there, then... Yeah, let's, let's try. No, that was too much. Okay, so that's not an option. Oh, hold on though. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just massively overcomplicating this. Still, why did I need to do it there? No, I do need to do it there because I need to do it before I hit go through the fizzler, don't I? Yeah, I need to do it before I go through the fizzler. again. Okay, I don't know if that was right. I don't know if that's intended. So what we effectively did is we delayed that shot. And then when we got a bit further out, we redid the shot to come over to here. And of course, what that would then, what that then allows me to do is put that on there, respawn the cube, run down to here to grab it. So we'll keep that in mind, but let's just think, is there another way that we can do this? we have to go through a portal here. We can't use this. I was originally thinking we could drag something over from there, but that's not going to work because we can't physically travel through there ourselves. The angle to shoot through there, it's not going to be, that's not going to be intended either. I 
So, I don't know, delay tactics seem to be... the thing to do. Alright, well... So then we do this. We run back over to here and wait for the cube to drop down again. So it'll fizzle through there, drop from here. Then we put it on the button and exit. All right, the other thing, the other thing I just thought of, potentially. Yeah, okay, so this, this method, we wouldn't need to be as quick. So let me just place that there a moment. We can also place this to here. So, because it doesn't matter if we come through this Fizzler field here. So we can do this. Oh, but no, it, it does, because then we don't have a way to... shoot that again. Drag myself across either, is there? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, wait a second though, hold on. I had that, and I drag myself across to here. What would stop me? Oh, geez. Um. So I could actually do this. Okay, this might be more intended. Go over to here. Oh, but then we don't have a way. Okay, well, that's not going to work either. way here to get more distance on this so all right well I am going to stick with the way I did it for now and hope that that is intended because it, it does all hinge I've got to be in the funnel So many things, so many things are going through my head right now as to what it could or couldn't be. Because the other thing it could be would be, let's pretend, because we like pretending. That's on there. We drag ourselves across here. Could be this. So we come through here. We do all our work from within the funnel. Then we can push ourselves back out here. 
I mean, that's less... This method is less sort of time critical, so I'd be more leaning towards this method. And then we go and pick up the cube. So, for the purpose of the exam board, <laughs> I am I am submitting this solution as my answer. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think... Like I said, the first one seems a bit too time restrictive. You've got to do things relatively quickly, and you are... You've got to kind of get through there, change the portal, and then change it back again before you hit that fizzler. Whereas this method, there's no timing involved. You just have to sort of drag that across, which would make sense as to why that's a double white, a portable surface there. If, if that wasn't intended, then I would just assume a Sears would have put just one there, although it does help with the symmetry as that wall is a four block wide wall. But I'm going with that solution, that second one as my answer. Hopefully we solved it and uh, we didn't break it. Other than that way, we did break it. But uh, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment down below with your links and different bits and pieces. And until the next one, see ya.